So the Mackerson Gold Cup is next then, a race renamed by Grey Back to what it used to be called years ago. And it's called the is it Paddy Power Hours. It changes name again. I don't know. Tainted Tina Stuglow, the top one, the Dark Lord, Josh Russell, Demiro Town King, part of the plan, Paul Rhodes, Orange Boom Day, Darren Thompson, Parsons Gate, Jim Murray, Ralph James, Follis, River Kemp, Carl Aragante, Dan Bigger, Graham Clutterbuck, In Your Grasp, Daniel French, Treasure Gate, Jim Murray, Doghouse, David Robertson, Floyd's Gal, Graham Clutterbuck, Lord Glen Kerrig, Martin Leadham, and Jessica Rabbit, Martin Leadham. So, there we go then. Off they go into Mackerson. Used to be one of the three really big, big handicaps throughout the season. For me, the Mackerson, the Hennessy and the Whitbread as they take the first and not one of them still call the same thing. They've all got different names now, which is pretty sad in my eyes. Anyway, I race down towards the second of the 16. And a bit of a mistake there by the horse in second. That was River Kemp. As we watch them from the aerial view and in your grasp. And the orange jacket with the white sleeves is the leader. They're the, the new Daniel French colours. A few people are liking them this season. River Kemp is in second. Demero is third. Then Doghouse and Orange Boom Day. The Dark Lords after that one. Then Ralph. And Floyd's gal. Dan Bigger is next. And Treasure Gale and T Tainted Tina. Parsons Gate. Jessica Rabbit, the grey and the orange. It's more of a hurdler, really. As they take the next. And they're back to a part of the plan. And Lord Glen Carreg, who is just the back marker. As they take number four. And there's a faller there. There's one gone. His doghouse is gone. So David Robertson's already had a winner today. He's not going to win this one. And in your grasp, in the lead, one out of the Mackerson so far there, that's Doghouse. And it's in your grasp, leading by a good couple of lengths to River Kemp in second, then a couple of greys as they take the fifth. All over that one, okay. It's Demiro, the first of the greys, and the second of them is Dan Bigger. As they come to this next one, that'll be the last on the next circuit. That mistake at the back by Lord Glenkerag. Probably wishes he was jumping the hurdles still, which is rated higher over. This is his stable companion, Jessica Rabbit, as we shoot up the, this part of the truck and see them running away from us. Swinging away left-handed, and there River Kemp has gone to join in your grasp, and there's three or four lengths clear. Oh, Dan Bigger and Demiro, and then Ralph and him part of the plan, and then Floyd's Gallum and Dark Lord as they come to the next. And they're all safely over that one as well, just the one D party so far. to the water. Everybody will get over the water. And River Kemp's in the lead. In your grasp is second. Then Demero is third and Dan Bigger is fourth. Then there's a whole host of them together. We're going to get a look on a jockey cam situation on the back marker. Jump that one quite nicely. Not doing him a great deal of good though as you can see because he's still got a wall of horses in front of him. Although he's starting to move around the outside now maybe. If we start off. Jockey Cam, he might run a bit better. <laughs> he in your grasp in the lead from River Kemp second, then Demero is third, part of the plan is four, and then the Dark Lord, then Dan Bigger as they come to this ditch. And over that one they go, it's the Jim Murray horse, Parson Gate that's now dropped out to the back. That's something of a surprise. But up the top end, coming down to this plain fence, it's still River Kemp. I know a mistake there by Daniel French's horse in your grasp, down on his nose. It's not going to have done him a lot of good as they race downhill. And then swing left-handed to this cross fence then now. And it's River Kemp in the lead from Demero in second. Part of the plan is third and Ralph is four. Floyd's Gull is fifth and down bigger is sixth. And then in your grasp as they take that plane fence. And they're all safely over that one with the Jim Murray horses. Last and last but one at this stage of the race. So Demero and River Kemp then. The field beginning to bunch. It's wide open. They've got three to jump. And it's River Kemp and Demiro. Demiro, the grey on the outside, takes it just in the lead. The field stream over it. It's Demiro from part of the plan who's now gone second. In your grasp is getting back into it. River Kemp is starting to struggle. Orange Boom Day is getting a first mention. Look at Len Lord Glencarreg who's come from the back, coming through to make a big challenge. Then on the outside there is Parsons Gate is also coming from the back. Tainted Teen is the one who's dropped right out of it now. But it's Demiro in the lead from Lord Glencarreg in second. Then comes Orange Boom Day and Dan Bigger and part of the plan. Two to 
jump. This is the second last. Over it goes. Dimero in the lead. Lord Glencarag is in second. Then comes part of the planet. Orange Boom Day. The Dark Lord Jessica Rabbits begin to run. This is the final fence. Over it they go. And it's Dimero in the lead from Lord Glencarag. Here comes the Dark Lord. They're throwing down a big challenge as they race up now into the final furlong. It's Dimero in the lead. Lord Glencarag trying to challenge those pile upon the Dark Lord. Orange Boom Day. Dimero is going to take the Marcus and I think as they race up towards the line. It's going to be Dimero that wins the Marcus and Orange Boom Day is going to be second. Then part of the plan, the Dark Lord, Lord Glen Craig and Jessica Rabbit field trials back to Tainted Tina. And it's a win again for Tam King and Demero. Orange Boom Day for Darren Thompson second. Part of the plan, Paul Rhodes was third. The Dark Lord for Joshua Sutherland was fourth. And Lord Glen Craig was fifth.